guys things about the game and I'm going to go on record and saying this is not just the theory these this is what I believe to be the legit lore of the game and so with that said let's get right into it let's get into night one now I'm gonna let you guys now look at this family pizzeria looking for a security guard work the night shift 6 12 to 6 a.m. man I'm in terrible at reading and I'm sorry if I'm not the best narrator I'm new to this and I'm also going to let you guys listen to the phone call because the phone calls are really important. And I'm probably going to be discussing the phone calls quite a bit and stuff like that. So, with that said, hello? Hello? Who's there? You know, Fox doesn't even come out the first night, so I can keep this on these guys the whole time. Hello? Oh, hello? Hello? Well, hello there. For you to help you get settled in on your first life. Um, I actually worked in that office before you. I'm finishing up my last week now, as a matter of fact. So I know it can be a bit overwhelming, but I'm here to tell you there's nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about. Fine. So let's just focus on getting you to the first. The okay. Restaurant. Uh, let's see. First, there's an introductory greeting from the company we'll discuss later. that I'm supposed to read. Uh, it's kind of a legal thing, you know. Um, welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, a magical place for kids and grown-ups alike, where fantasy and fun come to life. Fazbear Entertainment is not responsible for damage to property or person. Upon discovering that damage or death has occurred, a missing person report will be filed within 90 days or as soon as property and premises have been thoroughly That's cleaned also and bleached and the car. carpets have been oh. replaced. Blah, blah, blah. blah. Now, that might sound bad, I know, but there's really nothing to worry about. Uh, the animatronic characters here do get a bit quirky at night, but do I blame well, I wonder them? why. No. If I were forced to sing, those same stupid songs for 20 years and I never got a bath, I'd probably be a bit irritable at night too. So remember, or these that characters hold a special place in the hearts of bellies. children and we need to show them a little respect. Right? Okay. So just be aware, the characters do tend to wander a bit. Uh, they're left in some kind of free roaming mode at night. Uh, something about their servos locking up they get turned off for too long. Uh, they used to be allowed to walk around during the day, too. But then there was the bite of 87. 87 people, yeah. not 80 fucking yeah, three. It's amazing 87. Body can live without the blood alone. We'll discuss you know? that, too, later. Yeah, now, concerning your safety, the only real risk to you as a night watchman here, if any, is the fact that these characters, uh, if they happen to see you after hours, probably won't recognize you as a person. Yeah. They'll, they'll most likely see you as a metal endoskeleton without its costume on. Now, since that's against the rules here at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, they'll probably try to Scoop you out. forcefully stuff you inside a Freddy Fazbear suit. Um, now, yeah, that wouldn't be just, so bad now after if playing the suit themselves weren't so much that it's cross just being wired so with an animatronic device, and it's my job especially to around the facial area. So I can. you can imagine how having your head forcefully pressed inside one of those could cause a bit still of discomfort. I'm still narrating as I'm and playing dead. video games. I'm no, uh, I'm no market player, like I'm no community player, I'm no exact shit like that. But I'm hoping to be there someday, the I know. I'm hoping to be a, yeah, they don't tell you a million subscriber heir. But hey, first station of the agrees, I'll chat with you tomorrow. Uh, check those cameras, and remember to close the doors only if absolutely necessary. You gotta conserve power. Alright, good night. Alright, now, I don't know if you guys know this, but if you look at this restaurant, it's in fucking disarray. I mean, look at this shit. Look at, look at how nasty and gross this restaurant looks. And 
also we're gonna discuss this particular scene right there too later but um so as for the timeline now i'm just the first thing i want to discuss the timeline for fnaf it goes as this i believe or i know for a fact it's sister location then fnaf 4 fnaf 2 and that's when the that's when the kids get murdered all five kids when it starts off this whole deal then this one and this one's near the ending of the timeline and this one, and then it takes another 10 to 30 years, I can't exactly remember, I'm sorry, I will be better prepared the next time. Um, 10 to 30 years, no, it is 30 years, I'm sorry. And then we get Fazbear Fright. Now, there's something you gotta know, it's this air, this little restaurant we're in, it's Fazbear Fright. And when Springtrap tries to kill you and stuff like that. But, I'm going to go and say that, you know how in FNAF 3, each night, you, each time you beat a night, you do a mini game where you're Freddy, Chica, Bonnie, and Foxy, and you, you go to that weird room and it goes air, 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 and the purple guy comes and dismembers you. Well, I believe that during FNAF 1, I know that you're thinking, but you don't see him dismember it, and you go through each night, the animatronics are still there. Well, yeah, that's because it's the fucking game. You need to each night have to be any tackled and scared to fucking death by these things. But I believe that during FNAF 1, this is the night where Purple Guy's sitting in it. You're playing as Purple Guy. Purple Guy. And you're sitting here waiting for um, the animatronics to come. And you unwill unwilling, or you dismember them, which in turn frees the kids' souls, which at night 5 in this game, you get shoved into the Spring Bonnie suit and become the infamous Spring Trap. But, but you're wondering, but on night four is when Phone Guy dies, and Phone Guy's Purple Guy, right? Well, don't you remember what he just said in the beginning of this of this video? He said, hey, Friday, you're staring at me. Um, he said, hey, I'm, um, I'm leaving these recordings for you. Now, of course, um, there's more stuff that I want to discuss about, like FNAF 2 and all that. There's a lot to discuss, and I really want to discuss it with you guys, but fucking hey, this game is going to be fucking impossible because, you know, as much as I've played this game, I still have not gotten used to this game and any moment fucking Chica or fucking Bonnie or even fucking Freddy are going to get me and I'm going to fucking die a miserable death and, 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 and they're going to shove me in a spring shot suit, ugh, spring lock suit, and I'm going to become the infamous purple guy and try to kill a guy who's just trying to earn money. Blah, I'm not making any sense. I'm sorry, guys. I really am. I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. Fuck. This is not this is not, this is not fucking, hey Freddy, this is not fucking right, I don't like the feeling, guys, I'll be honest with you, I don't like being the feeling of being stuck, I mean, hell, even if it's a lady, ladies, <laughs> I don't like being stuck, I don't like the feeling of being looked at, and that's exactly what these fucking animatronics are doing, they're looking at me, they're looking at me guys, and I don't like it, I don't like it at all, okay, I gotta calm down, I have a job, to I have a job to tell the story, the lost lore, not a theory, not a game theory. Like Matt Pat. Hey, by the way, I love Matt Pat. He's one of my favorite YouTubers. Besides Pet Monster. Hey, Pet Monster. Love you guys. Love you, Monster Chick. I love every one of you mothers. Oh, and if I die, please write on my tombstone that I was a legendary guy. Please. Or better yet, if I if I become a if I become Spring Trap, just let me be because I don't mind being Spring Trap. Fucking a. This game is not fucking. This is not right. I do not like this feeling. Why did I sign up for this? Oh my god. And how the fuck am I supposed to tell you guys the story of fucking Five Nights at Freddy's when I fucking every fucking second these fucking animatronics are gonna fucking kill me? Oh Jesus Christ, I don't like this. <laughs> well, I hope you guys are enjoying me fucking flipping a chip because this is, this is Jesus fucking Christ. This is just unbelievable and fun at the same time. It's terrifying as this is. Oh fuck. Oh, he's fucking staring at me. It's terrifying as this is. Oh, God fucking A. Why did I agree to do this? What the fuck is wrong with me? I am one troubled individual if I, if I agree to... Oh. All right, I'm losing track. I need to tell the fucking story, okay? Because you're purple guy. And when it, when that clock hits 6 o'clock, you're going to dismantle these fucking anim one of these animatronics and unwittingly set a child soul free that's going to later on fucking trap you inside of a, a, a golden body suit and then but the reason why they're gonna trap you in a golden body suit is because you're an animatronic yourself yeah that's right purple guy is baby from FNAF sister location and he scoops the guy that you are in FNAF sister location spoiler alert if you haven't placed this location 
he gets scooped out and baby puts on your skin or innard or whatever the fuck it's considered to be puts your body on and he goes it goes free and then lures the kids one by one individually and kills them and shoves them into these animatronics because that's what they do in the original sister's location and then then you unwittingly free the souls of these children and then they put you in a spring lot suit and you don't like it you would be, oh my god, you don't like it, you need a new body, so as Springtrap, you try to kill the night security yeah. guard in FNAF 3, and that's why you're, he tries to kill you in night 3, it's because he wants to, a new body, a new body, or it wants a new body. Um, I'm sorry if I'm rambling, I'm sorry if that last bit didn't make sense, I'll clear it up more in the next night, I'm not going to do night 2, this is the, uh, fun enough, I hope you guys enjoyed me flipping out and being a fucking freak. I will see you guys in the next video so long and thanks for all the fix.